Alright folks, I'm here today to tell you about the iPad and something interesting I discovered about it. For starters, the Geiger counter. This is a Radiation Alert Inspector EXP. It is made by uh, SE International. My unit was placed into service July 20th of, tw of 2011, so just a month or, t month or so ago. Calibration is due for next year. This unit has been calibrated less than 60 days ago. And I have tested it extensively to determine that it is correct. So it is a brand new unit. Here is a well cared for inspector probe. All the cables are good. We're going to test this. And here, actually I have an iPhone here. Let me take my iPhone and move it out of the way so that it doesn't interfere with the test. The first part of the test is to show you the testing area and that it's clean and free of anything that would cause any troubles. Here is my external sounder. I'll plug it up, turn it on. It will produce a audible tick every time radiation is detected. Let's move around the area quickly and detect that there's nothing in it. As you see, my counts are 28, 30, 36. What's going on right here? Anything? 38. Forty-six, forty-four. Just moving it around to see. It's probably picking up electrostatic discharge. What are we getting right here? Well, we're not going over. 48 counts per minute, which is the highest background I normally get in this area. So, alright. There we go. We're not detecting much of anything. Get a little bit more on the Geiger counter than anything else. Okay. This area, though, quite free and clean of anything. Now, oops, I should show you behind it. I have a lamp over here, so I pick up a lot of moths. I get moth stuff down here. It's kind of a pain. I have to go vacuum it out every couple days. Anyway, there's the board. Bottom of the board. I'm getting background ticks here. Nothing additional. Alright. Background ticks. On the board itself. Nothing major. So I think you're all getting, kind of getting the point here. I'm not, there's nothing really radioactive in this area. Okay, we're going to test this unit here, and I'm going to increase the video speed to, to high speed video, and I'm going to let you see, let me unplug this, and I'm going to let you guys see a 10 minute test, and then a 10 minute test with the Geiger counter. Alright, so we set the Geiger counter to time mode, total count. We set the duration to 10 minutes, 10 minutes, put the Geiger counter down on top of the area because this is where we're going to test the iPad. Let's move the iPad out of the way and we will see what happens in 10 minutes. We will be back in 10 minutes. Let's quickly move this, point it down so maybe you can see the Geiger counter a little better as it ticks. Ten minutes.
ready. Now as you can see, we have a background count of 377 counts in 10 minutes. 377 divided by 10 is 37.7. So our average background count is 37.7 counts per minute. Let me cut the, the sound on so you can hear. 37.7. Here is an iPad. This is an iPad 1, by the way, not a 2. I've already tested an iPad 2, and I've gotten basically no results from it. Nothing amazing. But an iPad 1 is a little bit different. Let me show you. Nothing special about this iPad, and this is my iPad. I make, I'm not making this claim for all iPads, I'm only talking about my iPad. Now let me state before I show you this, that I was tipped off about this by someone else. I did not originally discover this. Someone that I know told me about this. And from what I've been told, they've already contacted Apple. So Apple is, should be aware of this. We shall see. Here's an iPad. First thing we do is we cut its power off. See? Power off. And now the power cuts off. And the reason we cut the power off is we don't want the electrical signals in the unit itself to interfere with the readings. They probably wouldn't, but it's better science to do that. Now, 37.7. Let's switch back and show you an instantaneous count. We're getting 30 right now, 26. This obviously averages out to 37.7. From the back of the iPad, pretty much nothing. The reason I show you this is because if you try to claim that anything that's coming from the iPad may be the result of the battery, for example, it should be picked up from the back, right? Because that's where the battery is closest. But I don't really get anything from the back. It's, If anything, it's blocking background radiation. If anything, it's actually reducing background radiation a little bit. Okay. 37.7 was the background. Now let's turn the iPad over and remember, nothing here. And you'll see in a minute why this went up so high, by the way. You'll see in just a few seconds exactly why it went up so high. Just let it calm back down, and then I'll reintroduce the iPad. The reason it went up high is because of this. Far cry from 37.7, the rates keep rising. that. 60. And they'll go higher. Watch this. Let's move this over. Still doing it. Now, let's move this back. And it falls. Still picking up a little bit. Not as much. And the rate goes down. Reintroduce the iPad and it goes right back up again. Any part of the iPad does this. In the front, anyway. The screen. So far, it's significantly greater than 37.7, which is my background. Why my iPad is radioactive? I don't know. This is a, a, t a unit that has been tested, is fully calibrated. So the science is here and it has been in independently confirmed by other people, or rather I'm the actual independent confirmer, to tell you the truth. Um, so let's set it for a 10-minute count and see in 10 minutes what we get, because spot checking is telling, but it isn't accurate. We set the timer, and then see you in 10 minutes.
It looks, I stepped away for a moment, because I hate sitting here and watching this thing tick for 10 minutes. It's like watching a pot boil, a kettle cook, you know, that sort of thing. A pot that's watched never boils, that sort of thing. Well, as you can see, I got 1,142 counts in 10 minutes. Let's move this away. Notice they stop when I get here. They come back again when I get here, even though it's not counting anymore, because you get the idea. But not the back. Just the front. So whatever it is, it's in the front all right. Now, let's move this over here. And now let's put this little plastic thing up here so they can see it. Look at my camera and make sure you all can see all of this. All right, can you see it? Okay, so... Actually, you can't. There's like light shining right upon this. There we go. Now you can see. iPad 1 tested today, and the time is, ironically, if I cut the iPad on, I would know what time it is. Anyway, it's 1142 counts. So let's mark that down. 11 and 42. It's hard to write sideways. Count. Can't write sideways in 10 minutes, and that means 114.2 counts per minute. Now, let me get underneath here and write this down 114.2. So, we're going to take and that's CPM, we're going to take 114.2 uh, counts, and we're going to subtract from that the, the background, and then we'll know truly how radioactive it is. Let me get my calculator. Wait, yeah, let me get my calculator. And ironically, and here's the part you're going to find is the most ironic. My calculator is an iPad, or sorry, an iPhone. There we go. That's ironic, isn't it? Okay, so we'll clear the, the, the iPhone out. 100. This is like a pure irony, isn't it? 0. 0.2 minus 37.7 equals a net average for a 10 minute count of 76.5. Let me test, let me write that down. 76.5 CPM average. So, what have we discovered today? We have discovered We have discovered that the iPad 1, I'm trying to put this in a place where it's easy to look at. Let me see if you can even see that. There. We discovered the iPad 1 is radioactive. At least my iPad 1. Let me correct that. Mine. Let's cut the speaker on so you can hear it better. There. My personal iPad 1 is radioactive. I can't speak for the rest of iPads out there. I'm sure Apple wouldn't want me to. But my specific individual iPad that I own personally is apparently radioactive. I base this on the fact that I can detectively see, what is this, almost three times background radiation from it. My iPad. I know of one other person who has also tested their iPad 1 and found this to be the exact same level of radioactivity, plus or minus maybe 10 counts per minute. So there is at least one other iPad out there. So I am speaking for only my iPad, not all of them, just mine. Only mine. And you can, you, if you wish to find out if yours is radioactive, you can go test it and find out for yourself. Anyhow, uh, I did test an iPad 2. Nothing special. Let's see what my iPhone does, just out of curiosity. This is not a scientific test because I have this rubber around it, and you can't claim for sure that the rubber itself isn't causing anything, but let's see. Not much. Maybe a little. But the power's on in the iPhone, so you can't really claim much of anything from the iPhone. I would have to do a full test to know for sure, but I can tell you this thing doesn't have the power on. And I can tell you it shows up radioactive. Not very radioactive, but a little bit. 
Did I hit a bad spot or something? There it goes. Oh, and um, just to like show you, it's not my hand. Like my ring isn't radioactive or anything. Oh, the Geiger counter's still pegged out, but it should fall. Well, ironically, human beings are radioactive, but no, nah, not me. See, the Geiger counter falling, 56 counts per minute, 42, and it's going back to normal. 32. But, the back's not. Well, maybe a little. But the front, sure is. Any part of the front, too. Doesn't matter what part. My poor iPad. I don't consider this to be dangerous. Personally. Personally, this doesn't go over my threshold. And remember, this is my iPad. I'm only speaking for my iPad. And I don't personally find it to be dangerous. So that's me. All of this is my opinion, etc., etc., etc. So take that to the bank. But anyhow, let's cut the iPad on. Yay, see it cuts on now, proving it was off in the first place. But I did the whole entire test on the camera so that you could see it. Alright, well I better end this. It's been a long test. The iPad's coming on. Alright folks, well, this has been Tom from anti-proton.com. And as you can see, well, you can see it for yourself. Bye-bye.